What's going on, y'all? Happy New Year's. This your man, Fly Figures, better known as Fly Collector. But we're going to change the name this year to Fly Figures. You know, I ain't really like Fly Collector too much, so we're going to switch it up. But, uh, you know, I figure I'll go ahead and do my top 10 Marvel Legends for 2017. And uh, starting off at number 10. Since I just recently got this, is the Defenders full pack. You know, I'm also happy about this because I finally get a Daredevil. You know, to go against my Bullseye. We got um, Jewel, also known as Jessica Jones. Uh, we got another Iron Fist. I think I got like three or four Iron Fist, man. <laughs> and I am not a big Iron Fist fan, but hey. You know. And we got a Luke Cage. And this Luke Cage came out a couple of years ago. That's a con exclusive. So, we catch this in this uh, four pack. Hey. Cool with it. And I got it for a steal on Amazon. Um. Y'all checked on Amazon for the last couple of weeks. The price been going up and down on this thing. And I caught it at 50 bucks, man. And I caught it at 50 bucks, man. So, hey. Can't beat that. So, yeah, this is my number 10. The four pack. The Defenders four pack. All right, y'all. And number nine is the... Guardians of the Galaxy Wave 1, Dark Hawk. Um, I don't really know too much about this character, but I love the figure. You know, the wings is dope. Um, his basic articulation, you know, not much. <clears throat> I wish they had a, a wrist swivel, but you know, it's cool for what it is. <clears throat> yeah, it's not too much um, that I could really say about this character. Um, I know Marvel Legacy is starting a new series with him. Uh, I know he had a couple of run-ins with Venom. You know, he's been featured on Spider-Man comics, Punisher comics, you know. And I know for sure that he gets his power from the jewel on his chest. But yeah, from the, uh, Titus Builder figure wave for Guardians of the Galaxy. My number nine figure is Dark Hawk. All right, coming in at number eight is the uh, Spider-Man Toys R Us two pack with Mary Jane. Um, it wasn't more so for the Spider-Man, but it was more for, you know, the head, the Peter Parker head and the, uh, new Mary Jane bus scope you know that's a new figure so that's my number eight the Spider-Man Mary Jane Toys R Us two pack it's nothing much to really explain on that one all right <clears throat> at number seven is the Dark Phoenix and Cyclops Toys R Us exclusive two pack um, this is more so for the uh, Dark Phoenix. You know, it comes with three different head sculpts. Um, and she can pretty much fit. You can fit them head sculpts on pretty much any Marvel Legend woman's body. For example, check it out. You know, as you can see, I swapped out one of the heads with the Mary Jane body and it fits perfect man beautiful so uh, the Cyclops figure is cool but you know he'll fall in later another Cyclops will fall in later in this countdown but yeah man at number 7 is the Dark Phoenix Cyclops Toys R Us exclusive 2 pack Keeping up with the Toys R Us exclusives, two pack themes. We going with the Hydra, the Hydra Goon two pack, 
Toys R Us exclusive. You know, um, I know a lot of you see this as a re-release, but you know, I wasn't collecting Marvel Legends back then. So they gave me a Hydra agent. Really get a couple of these. The Army build was pretty cool. And you know, you get tons of accessories, which I'll, some of them I won't use. Probably except for this one goon head right here, but yeah, man. It's a cool two pack. So yeah, man, at number six, it's the Hydra Toys R Us two pack. All right. All right, at number five is the Walgreens exclusive, Fantastic Four, Sue Storm, and Johnny Storm, the brothers and sister, half of the Fantastic Four. Um, we just waiting for a thing. And the Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. And we should have Fantastic Four complete. <clears throat> and be it that Disney just bought the Fantastic Four back from Fox. I'm pretty sure those two will be coming soon. So, yeah, number five the Johnny Storm, Human Torch, and the Sue Storm, the Visible Woman. Walgreens exclusive. And number four is from the Thor Hope Build a Figure Wave. It's probably everybody's favorite out the way. So hey, might as well put them up there. Is uh, Ares. Um, this figure came out before as a big builder figure. But I'm glad they put it out again. You know, in the wave, in the Thor wave. So ain't really much to say about this. So yeah, for those that collect Marvel Legends, y'all know what it is. So. And number four, it's the Aries from the Thor wave. <clears throat> and number three is Cyclops from the X-Men Warlock build a figure wave. Uh, this came out early in the year. And this was a hot figure for a good two, three months. You know, so yeah, man. Other than, you know, problems with the, you know, the legs, I don't even know what you call these, the buckles being loose, you know, but it's no big deal. Still a great figure. Um, I took this laser beam from one of the cheap uh, DC Superman figures, not uh, the multiverse, but one of the cheap 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 ones but it works out good so you know as you can see the buckles is just all over the place but yeah man that's my number three Marvel Legend figure is the Cyclops from the X-Men Warlock Builder figure all right At number two is the massive build the figure or build the vehicle or build the accessory. It's the massive vulture wings. The vulture figure is just like icing on the cake. But the meat and potatoes is this massive wing. I could get it like I could barely fit it the whole wing on camera but I'm gonna try to get y'all as best as a shot as I can I think that'll do it but yeah man the wing the build the wing from the uh spider-man homecoming wave like I wasn't expecting this be like this but once I put it together y'all fell in love immediately so yeah man and number two is the 
build the wing. From the Spider-Man Homecoming wave. And my personal number one figure is my man Bullseye from the Netflix Marvel Nice Wave. Man thing build the figure. But yeah, man. This is my number one figure. I like the posability. The articulation, you know. I love this figure, be it that I finally got a dead devil to go with it. Yeah, man. This is my number one Marvel Legend for 2017. Um, you know, he comes with a couple of extra accessories. He also comes with a uh, extra head that. You can put on the bullseye. All right, check it out. All right, as y'all can see, I swapped out the Hawkeye head and put on extra bullseye head. Um, you know, for those of you that know about the Dark Avengers, you know, it fits perfect. So yeah, man. <clears throat> so yeah, man, that's it. You know, it's my number one figure. 2000. I'm trying to get this Hawkeye stash still. I'm trying to one hand this joint. Alright. But yeah, y'all. This is my personal top 10 Marvel Legends for 2017. You know. Hope everybody have a safe New Year's. You know. See y'all in 2018, man. You know, new name, Fly Figures, man. Check me out. You know, thank y'all for watching, man. And I'll see y'all soon, man. All right? Peace.